All right, I forgot to video, but give you an idea where I'm at. As of right now, got a coat of paint on it. I got the cabin body primered. I'm not gonna paint the body since it's gonna be hidden inside the wall, but I figured primer to keep rust. I have the jacks painted and reinstalled. I haven't painted the tongue yet here because I have to weld on some gussets here. And I still gotta weld obviously the front wall once I put the floor in. But I do have the trailer lights underneath the trailer wired. That way I can put the floor in. So as you can see here, got it passing through the frame uh, using rubber grommets. Also caulk this closed, all the grommets closed. But I got in this bundle be my markers, tail lights, and uh, brake and turns, along with the driver side electric brake. And then this bundle here is going to be the passenger side electric brake, along with the reverse lights. As you can see. Hard to see there, but the way I have it run down the frame, give you a better idea here. So I left it exposed. I thought about running it in the tube, but I figured if there's ever an issue, it'd be easier to repair it this way. So what I did, just use self-tightening screws with these clamps with the rubber. I don't <clears throat> to hold the wiring up right here these plugs what these will be for is on the outside wall I'll have my like a three-quarter inch marker right here and an upper one up here so that wiring will be able to pass through the floor here and then I'll have one of these weather pack plugs on it to where I can plug it into here and I did that in all four corners with that weather pack. As you can see, passed through the frame using all rubber grommets. Kept the wiring nice and tight to the frame. Both sides. And then for the electric brakes, what I did is I used the weather pack uh, plugs here that way if I ever need to change the brake backing plates or anything like that I'll be able to just unplug it and not have to worry about cutting splice wiring as we continue back these will be my reverse lights I'll show you behind underneath all the way back to the tail lights they're 15 inch stop turn tails, LED. I may put marker lights above the door here, the rear door. But to give you an idea, what I did here is on the interior wall, half inch holes with grommets. So this wall here will be to run the marker lights on the outside wall. And it'll get one of these weather pack plugs. It'll go through the floor in the corner here get sealed and then i'll be able to just plug it in here so again this corner same thing weather pack so i'm at the point where i can start putting the floor in get that in and then i got to build the front wall i'm going to build a roof rack to hold the solar system and then the wall, the frame, the interior, the, the walls here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drill a bunch of half inch holes in different locations through it. That way, when I go to run my interior wiring, I can just pass it through. I have plenty of the half inch grommet, so I just figure I'll drill, pre-drill a bunch of holes. Because once I get the wall panels on, it'll be hard to drill, to get the drill nice and tight in here. So before the wall panels go in, 
I will do that. Get those drilled. Four. This is what I'll be using. It's aluminum composite sheeting, aluminum poly, alum poly or whatever it's called. So for the floor, I've already got it measured out. Gotta cut this off the length and this off the width. That way it should drop right inside. So this is a 5x10 sheet and roughly for the interior I have to take about eh, 2 and 5 eighths in each direction to make it fit on the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut. I'm going to test fit it on the floor. If everything fits good, then I'll pull it off. I'll wipe the floor supports down. And I'll put some 3M double-sided tape down and then I'll set the floor in for the final fit. So for now I'm going to cut this out and see how it fits. I've got the panel cut. So I just use this little Milwaukee 12 volt circular saw. Seemed to cut it pretty good. So now on the test fit. Alright, so <clears throat> I got the aluminum composite panel installed on the floor here. As of right now, I'm going to leave this protective film on it. But I did go back and peel it so I could put a, a caulk in here. I use, uh, it's called Sikaflex. I'll link that in the description. But I went around and put a bead all the way around to seal it. Um, this panel is held on with 3M double sided tape. Plus, with the weight of the floor, everything plus the walls are going to be built on top of it, the interior. I don't think it's going anywhere. So, now that I got this installed, my next project on this is going to be to enclose this front wall here. Build the weld in the framework for that. And then I want to weld up a, some sort of roof rack up top, a removable one. But if I'm going to be welding up there just to get everything how I want it. I'm going to wait to enclose it. That way I could put some sort of like cloth tarp down here to catch the welding sparks. Plus this gives me a flat surface to stand on. So I can just stick my head up between the roof to figure everything out. Versus being on top of the roof. So. The other thing I'm going to do. I'm going to start this. I'll do this now. Because I'm going to add the gussets here to the neck. So these plates here, these are quarter inch. So I saw another YouTube video, kind of where I got my idea for this camper. I think it's ADV 4x4, Adventure 4x4, where he builds a, I think it's a 4x8 camper. But he mentioned he got some brackets and stuff from some online companies, I believe Send Cut Send. That's who I used. So I drew these up on a CAD program, sent them in the file, and they send them out. I mean, really clean, very minimal cleanup, if any, to do. Uh, one thing I did. I'll have the bevel here for the weld, where the weld is. But <clears throat> I just figured with these, putting these, you can call them lightning holes to lighten, you know, take some weight out. But it's also a good tie down point if you ever need to 
you know, put a strap or something in here too. Got a nice tie down point on both sides. So they'll sit something like that. I'm not going to like completely box this into where you know you put underneath too. I just don't feel there's need for that. And this thing's pretty well built. I think adding just these gussets on top will suffice. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Just get these cleaned up. Get the you know grind any of the paint off here so I can weld these in and then get them primed. That's the reason why I haven't <coughs> completed the paint on this. So I figured it didn't pay to completely paint the tow bar until I was done with all my welding on it. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. <clears throat> Alright, I got this welded in. So what I'll do now is I'll kind of clean it up with a grinder. Let it cool and then prime it and it should be ready for paint. Alright, that's all primered. Put that here and eventually put some paint on it. But next what I'm gonna do is gonna bolt my entry steps back on both sides so that's what I'm gonna do now. Alright, so I got the steps back in, uh, Loctited in. I don't believe I'll have to remove them anymore. I think that was the final install. So they work pretty good. Just slide them out, flip down. Pretty easy step to get in and out of the camper. Step up to here, then on to here, and then through the door. So, now I like how they turned out. The other side's installed now too. It's basically identical. And that's pretty much how you close them. The other thing I think I forgot to mention in my previous video is on the trailer light wiring for reverse lights let me see if I can get under here so what I have are two I believe they're the two seven inch LED light bars that'll be hooked up to the reverse lights so I should should be plenty bright backing up um, underneath really all I got to finish is right up in here in all four corners tie in the upper marker lights which will require drilling a hole up through here and then sealing that wire so just wire that in and then I'll need to install the water tank here in this mount and then plumb that up through the floor I'm just not sure where I want that plumbed so I'm not going to install that until I build the the galley wall separating the galley from the sleeping portion but other than that it's starting to get dark out these Arizona sunsets are amazing and it's nice to work especially this time of year it's only 60 degrees out in the beginning of December so it's perfect weather but yeah next I'll for tonight I'm gonna call it quits but the next thing I'm gonna do I believe is gonna build this front wall 
So we'll get it enclosed and then we'll go from there. So we will see you tomorrow.